Hello everyone, happy Monday. It is April 27, 2020. Uh, today we're going to do zucchini. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had zucchini already. Um, you make zucchini bread, fried zucchini. Fried zucchini is found at a lot of like pizza restaurants. Uh, they cut the zucchini and then they bread it and they fry it. Really good. Um, also, for the tomatoes, we have a winner. And I will tell you the winner when we do a tomato. Uh, but I'll let you know that two of them sprouted, but one came out first. And the other one we're still waiting on. But we have a winner for our tomato race. But let's get started on the zucchini. You should have your journal sheet. You should have your zucchini coloring sheet. And then you should have the back side of the journal, which is our pot. Like that. So, first thing first, all you guys have these, plus you have uh, a picture of zucchini. You can look at the zucchini if you want to get started before you watch this video, or you can start now when we're doing the video. So zucchini is very dark green over here, and then when it's cut up, you have the outside which is dark green, and then it goes to a light green, and then a yellow in the middle, which... I'll just show you right now. So we're going to use three colors. We're going to use dark green for the outside, light green for the inner part, but the, the outer the outer ring of the inner zucchini, if that makes sense, and yellow for the middle of the inner piece. All right? Oh, no more music because... I think um, that might have been some of the reasons why a couple of students had trouble watching the video. So, sorry, no more music. If you want, you could turn the radio on while you work. Or if you just want to do it in silence, it's perfectly fine too. So that's how it should look. <clears throat> now if we had more colors or paints, we could definitely do a lot more with it, with detail. Um, we could even put like a really dark green, if you have it maybe at home, you could put a dark green over on top. Um, the yellow is almost like white in the center. Very, very, very light yellow. It gets a little darker then to the green and to, to the skin of the zucchini, which is a dark green, the outer part. Alright, so that's that. So we have our zucchini picture. Alright, so. Four, twenty seven, twenty. Say so we're talking about zucchini. And it is day one. Now zucchini plants, when they grow in your garden, they get very, very big. So you gotta give them enough space. 
But once this grows and we put it in the yard, I'll show you how to do that. That's a whole other lesson. Uh, so day one, what do you think zucchini is? A fruit, vegetable, or herb? It's a vegetable. Temperature today is 62 degrees. Now last class we didn't meet because today's day one. So we're gonna put NA. What's warmer? NA. By how much? NA. It is cloudy and rainy today. My plant has not grown yet. We still have to put the seed in there. So it's already zero inches, zero flowers, zero vegetables. It is very dry. So when it's dry, do we water it? Yes. So I'm gonna write it on a sheet. You either can copy it from here or wait till I have it on this. Copy from this sheet. Pause it right now. All right. So now we're gonna flip over to the back side, which is your pot sheet. I'm gonna put whole about almost the size of your finger here, just a little under that. Drop it in, and you're going to cover it with dirt. Okay. We're going to use brown, orange, and red for my pot. Of the three of these, orange is the lightest, so I'm going to do orange first. Some mud on there. I'm just gonna barely touch the surface with the brown. Now for our dirt, right, brown and black. <clears throat> now it's very dry, the dirt, so it's gonna be more brown than black. But brown's still lighter than black, so we're gonna do brown first. So we have our coloring zucchini, we did our journal, and we did our pots. We planted our seed, today's day one, um, and then we'll do tomato this week. I'll show you how the plants are looking, but yes, continue uh, uploading your completed work, your completed assignments onto Google Classroom. You guys are doing a really good job with that. Uh, keep it up. And I hope you guys had a good weekend, and we're back at e-learning. Happy Monday. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.